Hey guys, welcome to uh, the next video of uh, trains, uh, model trains. And uh, as you know, I, I'm a fan of Amtrak, so uh, I've been collecting them as I said in the one of my previous videos. Uh, today I am going to talk about, uh, and it's, it's an interesting engine to me. I think it's kind of, it's a weird, funny shape. Um, I started re recently researching the engines and uh, ran across that one and I looked at it and it looked ridiculous and silly and funny and uh, at a recent train show uh, we managed, I was trying to get the, this one live and they were selling for like way more money than I think they were worth. Uh, I don't know if you know they're a different, uh, better brand than what I have or not. Uh, but uh, we found this at a train show and got it for pretty cheap. And uh, it is the the GG1. <laughs> uh, it is this monstrosity. Um, it's got the it's got the uh, electronics, electric uh, pull thingies again. Um, and they go down. Um, I got a, that one's more difficult to stick down. Uh, but. Especially when I'm ahead, I gotta be careful. Uh, we'll do that for now. So this one I thought was pretty interesting, just because it's got a weird shape. Like you could take the train car and just like cut it down the middle, and you'd have say, basically two separate engines still, um, because it's got tons of wheels on the bottom. Uh, so you could probably still get away with that. Um, because you control, they, they did it to have, you know, controls on both ends of the train. <laughs> um, and I understand why they do that because, I mean, how that... I, I, I think, considering that the, uh, this is one of the front windows here, and then, like, the side windows, like, how the heck would you see out of this if you're trying to go the other way? And, uh, you know, it was a lot easier back then to just have, you know, it... Uh, cabs on both sides, I guess, um, so that you don't have to like find a place to go. We turn around uh, and be able to see again. You know, like most uh, some of our modern modern engines have. Um, so this one, uh, this is around when the Metroliner was around too. They uh, they actually replaced the Metroliner when they went into uh, get uh, redone after they found some uh, issues with them as well. Um, they start out, these are probably, like, you probably may have seen these, but you know, um, they, I saw them, you know, first like the Pennsylvania Railroad, and uh, these could go pretty fast, um, but I think they, they replaced, uh, you know, the, the Metro Liners when they went into uh, repair, but they, uh, and they made the trip, I think, an hour longer, roughly. Um, versus the metro liners being able to get you uh, from one place to the other quicker. Um, these I think could still go about like 100 if I just looked it up correctly. Um, I don't think they usually let to go too fast, but you know, um, 100 miles is still, I guess, in you know American trains fast. I'm not talking about Japan. I'm not talking about Europe. You know, because um, they got different standards and speeds than we do, and they're you know they're better than us in that aspect. Um, so I thought this one was fun. Uh, probably once again not gonna. I mean, I mean it has a chance of running on the layout because it's got you know the the wheels on the bottom are movable and like the the set of four you know also turn as well. Um, haven't tried it to run it yet. I mostly got this one just because I wanted to you know have well, to one for my collection. Two, I thought this would be fun to kind of. Uh, you know, stick on a little diorama or, you know, put out as decoration somewhere too. Um, not, necessarily, not necessarily having to run it. Uh, but, you know, I just got it last weekend, so I've, I've been too busy this week to actually uh, try it out. But uh, it's a silly little engine, fun little thing. Um, paint scheme is kind of funny. It just, like, it's really weird <laughs> um, in that aspect. But uh, definitely. Definitely excited as we look at this one for not not too expensive. Um, people on the line are selling these for like 100 to 200 dollars, 
I think I, we got this for, I think I got this for around like 50, 60 bucks. Um, definitely needs to be, you know, dusted and all that, but hey, I, I'm not going for, you know, to have like the best, you know, name brand trains at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my next engine that I wanted to show you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're from my Shane Deepwood channel, hi. And uh, thank you for following me over here. If you're not, hi. And uh, I hope you guys like what I, you're seeing and uh, I hope to make more for you guys. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe and share. Uh, and comment and let me know what you guys think about the various engines that I'll be posting throughout uh, my channel and when I finish, when I uh, post them all. Thank you guys for watching.